Hello and a welcome to Sappy Simple Syrup YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the nutritional and health benefits of maple syrup. Uh, maple syrup health benefit is a boost immune system and it helps maintain a healthy heart. It's also great as a sweetener. I use one to two teaspoons of maple syrup uh, to sweeten my green tea in the morning. It's also gluten free. It has good antioxidants and minerals, has a low glycemic index, which is very good, and it's great for cooking and baking. I use maple syrup and maple sugar in a lot of my baking recipes. Um, also with maple uh, syrup, you need to use it in moderation because it still has um, sugar in it. Nutritional information. One tablespoon of maple syrup is 52 calories. There's also 13 grams of carbohydrates and it has 12 grams of sugar. Some minerals that's in maple syrup includes um, calcium, magnesium, potassium, and zinc. Some vitamins that are in maple syrup is niacin, B1, B2, B5, and B6. So a lot of your B vitamins. Pure maple syrup um, has 54 antioxidants. It also has no preservatives or additives. So that is also great. Um, I also have a customer who is diabetic. So she actually gets the first run when the maple syrup is a golden color. Um, that light maple taste. She actually can have natural sugar from the maple tree. So uh, diabetics can use it in um, low moderation. Um, and then also I am fructose intolerant. I have uh, found that out last year. So I can only have about 20 to 30 grams of fructose. Fructose is another sugar and it's actually found naturally in fruits and vegetables. So I have to limit my intake of what I can have like high fructose corn syrup, if you look at that, you'll like imitation syrup. The first two ingredients are corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup. So any products with high fructose corn, corn syrup, which is kind of hard to find, um, I cannot have. Um, and then some other food items that are high in fructose is honey. I can have honey, but I can only have about one teaspoon of honey um, and that would be it for my fructose for the day because it's extremely high in fructose. Um, molasses, um, which is also in your brown sugar, um, I can have a little bit more with molasses. And then with maple, sure, maple syrup and maple sugar, I can actually have more of that. It's actually easier on the digestive system so I can actually have more fructose in the maple syrup. So that's a good benefit because it's good for my stomach to digest that. And then also I found out today uh, that on Sunday uh, we had our first run of syrup, or should I say first run of sap to make syrup. And our first run of sap, we actually got 110 gallons of sap to cook down. And then... The sad part, the trees shut down on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, they did not run at all. And then Friday today, the temperature is 36 degrees, but the real feel is 26 degrees Fahrenheit. And we didn't think the trees would run at all today, but my husband started the pump and he left and he went back after a few hours. And he actually found out that in the totes, we have 125 gallons of sap. So this weekend we'll be cooking about 100, sorry, we'll be cooking about 235 gallons of sap. Um, so the next um, uh, video that I do, it will be um, cooking, down and cooking down sap to make maple syrup tomorrow. So this weekend I should have a video showing how to use the evaporator. So that is it for now. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you very much for watching.